welcome back to my channel Amour Crochet Love. Today I am going to show you how to make this beautiful headband um, with a raised stitch that is a combo between uh, single crochets and double crochets. So I'm going to show you how to do the stitch and then I am going to show you how to finish the headband by doing a knot. You can see this headband, the blue one, is the exact, the exact same stitch pattern and um, the knot that I'm going to be doing at the end and that you could wear like this if you want or the other way around, whatever you prefer. So let's start right away by showing you how to do the stitch and I'm going to show you how to do it starting with the bright side so you can see what I'm doing more easily so let's start let's jump right in by doing by doing a slip knot so i'm gonna do my slip knot first and then i work the stitch by chaining multiples of three plus one so let's start one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, plus 1, 19. And I'm going to count them just to make sure I have the right number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So perfect. I have the right number of stitches. And what I am going to do now is start by doing a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So the the four chain from the hook so the loop that's on the hook doesn't count and we start afterwards so one two three and four one two three four and we're gonna do a single crochet right here so i insert my hook yarn over pull back through yarn over pull back through two and then in the same stitch, in the same chain, we're gonna do two double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And we are going to do the same thing, a double crochet in the same stitch again, same chain. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And those are, those are the stitches we're going to do all around. So those are the only two stitches we're going to do single crochets double crochets 
So now I'm going to skip two chains and in the third one I'm going to do the same thing. A single crochet and two double crochets. Single, one double crochet into the same chain. And another double crochet. into the same chain. Okay, so we're going to continue by skipping two chains again. And now we're gonna again skip two chains, so one, two, and in the last chain we're gonna do a single crochet. Just the single crochet, so like this. Now I'm going to chain two and turn my work to start my second row. And for the second row, the two chains I just made uh, replace the first single crochet. So instead of doing a single crochet here, I'm going to go right ahead and just do two double crochets. So at the base of the two chains I just made in the last single crochet from the previous row. So I'm going to do two double crochets here. one, two, in the same stitch, then I'm going to skip two stitches, so one, two, and in the third one right here, this one, I'm going to do, oops, so then I'm gonna Skip two stitches, so one and two, and in the third one right here, I am going to do a single crochet. And two double crochets. One. And. Then I'm going to skip the next two stitches, so one, two, and in the third one I'm going to do a single crochet. So right here, a single crochet. And two double crochets. Here and here. And now I'm going to skip the next two. One, two, and in the third one, I'm going to do a single crochet. So, right here, single crochet, single crochet. And I've just finished my second row, so now I am going to do two chains. So chain two, turn over my work, and in the first stitch I'm going to do 
two double crochets just like I did on the last row because your two chains replace the single crochet that you do on the other ones. So I'm doing two double crochets here in the same stitch. Oops. These are done in the last single crochet from the previous row. Then I'm gonna skip two stitches and do a single crochet and two double crochets in the next stitch. So one single crochet, one double crochet, and a second double crochet. Oops. And now I'm going to skip the last two. I'm going to skip the next two. And in the last stitch, which is the second chain we did at the beginning, I am going to insert my hook and do a single crochet. So let me just find it. It's a bit difficult. So, right here, and here I'm going to do a single crochet, like this. So now I've just completed my third row, we're going to do a fourth, the, we're going to start the fourth one by doing two chains and turning over our work. Again, the two chains replace the single crochet. So now we are going to do two double crochets in the same stitch as the two chains. Oops. So two double crochets right here. Then we're going to skip the next two st stitches. One, two, and do a single crochet and two double crochets in the next stitch. So one double crochet and a second, oops, a second double crochet. In the third one, we're going to do a single crochet and two double crochets. So one, and two. And now I'm going to skip these next two and I am going to insert my hook in the chain two I made before. So I'm inserting my hook right here. And I'm doing a single crochet here. If you have trouble seeing the, the chain two, you could also put a stitch marker in the second chain two. That way you won't miss it. So I'm going to chain two again. Turn over my work and then do two double crochets. So 
one. And if you wanted to put your stitch marker, it would be right here in the second chain two. And you can close it off so it won't go up. this another double crochet and I'm gonna skip the next two work in the third single crochet and two double crochets I'm skipping the next two and in the third I'm doing a single crochet and two doubles. I'm gonna skip the next two, one, two, and in the next stitch, which is my chain two, right here, I'm going to do my single crochet. There. So, what I'm going to do now is work. A few more rows and uh, get back to you to show you what the, the swatch look like, looks like. So I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so I just finished my swatch. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chain one, cut my yarn, pull my on two and hold it and here you go I'm I've done my swatch and so since my color is um, since I have different colors on this you can see that it has changed a bit just like it did when I did my headband. So like this, it has changed right here. So that's what I did. And you can see here that let's do it on the same color so you can see better. You can see here that it's exactly the same stitch. And it goes up and down. That's why it creates the raised effect. So here you go. And now we're gonna start doing the seam and then to doing the knot. So I'll be right back with that. Okay, so now I'm just I just held the two sides of my headband. I'm gonna put a stitch marker here so they stay together. This that's gonna make things a bit easier for me. And I'm going to start doing the seam of my headband. So, right here.
Okay. I'm going to take off my stitch marker. Then insert my needle right here. And now I'm going to insert my yarn in my other piece and do the knot. Okay, so as you can see, my seam is done. I'm going to turn it around and you can see it here so like this. And what I'm going to do now is is fold my yarn a bit like this. So I'm folding this in like this. And I'm going to insert my yarn in all four no for this to do my knot. So right here one.
okay and i'm going to cut off my yarn right here okay so here is the headband finished so you can see the knot here and you can wear it like this or turn it around and wear it like this you can move it so it looks good so you can choose whichever side you want you want to wear it as um here is also the same headband but in blue so as you can see the same knot that you can also have like this so you can wear both of those in whichever way you want i'll take back the first one and um so for this one as you can see the blue one was just one color but this one has multiple colors so what i would advise is um, when you start doing your work uh, decide on whichever color you want to um, to start because the color you start with will probably be the color of your knot like it will be the same color in the end since you're doing the knot at the seam so if you want to have the clear color as your knot then you should start with the clear color if you want the medium one you should start with that one and if you want the the one that's darker like i did you should start with this one so choose whatever you like and prefer and then start from there and build your headband if you have a color similar to this one so that's pretty much what i wanted to say on that if you want i can also show you the skin of yarn with which i did it so as you can see you have the different colors they come back and forth so choose whichever one you prefer and then build your headband that way uh, so i hope you liked this tutorial and this video i hope you will enjoy making this headband please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it really helps me a lot uh, also please click on the notification bell so you're sure not to miss any of my future videos um, please also comment down below and like the video and share the video that will really help me a lot and uh, i hope to see you next time so have a good day bye bye